Here is the 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe Calligraphy front wheel drive in ultimate white over gray and gray. We get a full refresh, three rows. It's almost two inches longer, standard turbocharged with an option for a hybrid powertrain. The calligraphy gets all the bells and whistles, but is this going to be better than the competition? I'm Anthony from Hawkeye Rides, and I'm going to go over the pros and cons and the problem that I have with the new Santa Fe. In the front, you're going to be able to distinguish the XRT and the calligraphy because of the grille pattern, which are unique to both of the trims, both of which will get the matte black flat Hyundai badging on the hood with the rework H style daytime runnings, full LED on all trims, seven inches of clearance. And when you tick the box for the XRT, it goes up to 8.3 inches. Active grille shutter, gloss black elements is going to surround the lower and the side air pocket with front and rear parking sensors, plus a 360 degree reverse camera, which you can get in the limited trim. And you can also get the blind spot monitoring view in the limited trim as well. Housed underneath the hood is gonna have a 2.5 liter turbocharged inline four cylinder. That's gonna produce 277 horsepower, but 311 pound-feet of torque paired to the eight-speed dual wet clutch automatic transmission, achieving 20 MPGs for the city, 29 MPGs for the highway because this is the front-wheel drive setup, which when you go to front-wheel drive, you're going to lower towing to 3,500 pounds. The XRT will come standard with an all-wheel drive and it will have its own unique 18-inch wheel. When you go SEL and SE, it will also have an 18-inch wheel design going up to the limited gives you a 20 inch we got the calligraphy 21 inch wheels this is unique to the trim gloss black around the flared out fenders the side skirt and the a pillars so it makes it look a lot more sporty than off roadsy like the xrt and the reason why i've been talking about the xrt is these two trims option the hidden handle here that you put your foot on the wheel you climb up and you can load 220 pounds on top of these roof rails that are matte black so when you're thinking raised roof rails like subaru Hyundai went a step above because they give you that hidden handle. Now the con is it's only on the passenger side. I kind of wish it was on both sides, but either way, I'm glad that they offer that for the new generation. Going against competition like Toyota and Honda, none of which are going to give you the same value as a package. Now there has been some talks about the nine speed dual wet clutch automatic transmission. But one thing to take into consideration, this is a carryover transmission, a carryover engine. The only thing that was reworked was the exterior styling, the interior components, making it a little bit longer, changing the wheel designs. So everything, a carryover from last year. It does look like a Land Rover Defender though. And when you're thinking about pricing, this doesn't even fit in that slot because it's not going to be capable to do what a Land Rover Defender does. But if you're liking the style, you tick the box here. If you don't like that, eight speed wet dual clutch go to the hybrid it's a six speed automatic transmission towing is going to drop to 2,000 pounds max flat badging with the matte black and a hidden windshield wiper in the rear plus we get a digital rear view camera that gives you another 180 degrees of visibility in the rear so for safety purposes when you go calligraphy you are more than taken care of because you have everything digital or you have all the updated safety that includes the forward collision avoidance assist, blind spot collision avoidance assist, rear cross traffic collision avoidance assist, parking collision assist with the rear, lane following assist with lane keep assist, rear occupant alert, forward attention warning, park distance warning for the front side and reverse. And now we're gonna show you the smart park feature which you're gonna use the key fob. So you lock the door, you're gonna auto start the car with the key fob. You don't have to pay any subscription fees here. Now turn the key fob to the side to move it forward and backwards. Now you're probably thinking, why would you want this feature? Well, it's kind of cool because if you need to get into a tight parking space, not necessarily in America, you can do so. Or if you want to play a prank on a friend, you can physically move your car forward and backwards and say, oh my God, somebody's stealing my car. All with the use of the key fob. the best in class for warranties. Going back to the powertrain, 10 year, 100,000 miles. You get five year unlimited miles for roadside assistance. So how can that even be a problem with the standard power lift gate? It's gonna open up the full back, which makes an easy load to 14.6 cubic feet of storage. Underneath the floor is gonna have four, the spare tire 
with the 12 volt tuck right here because I have the seats folded back. Split fold the third row at a 50-50 split. That's gonna increase cargo to 40.5 cubic feet, which is an increase of 4.1 cubic feet over the prior gym. What Hyundai does better than pretty much everybody in class is those captain seats, you can fold them down in the back. Takes a few seconds going to fold down to 79.6 cubic feet, which is an increase of 7.5 cubic feet of storage. Fourteen way power seat adjustment for the driver with the premium Napa leather heated ventilated seats that's going to start on the limited trim the SE will have a cloth seat the SEL will get the H tech seats going all the way up to the limited which changes it out to leather memory for the driver headroom and leg room the calligraphy gives you all the bells and whistles it is going to be a driver focused setup but i like the bmw design with the curve one panel two screens because i mean you're under 50 grand and you're getting this much tech this much luxury 12 inch heads up display which is only on the calligraphy you have a digital rear view mirror the limited will start the dual pano moonroof and you have the eco suede headliner uvc storage box here which starts on the limited tier you just push the button and there goes COVID with another glove box storage in between i like the satin aluminum that brush and it keeps that h design style you can actually see it right here on the passenger side bose 12 speakers that's going to start on the limited trim as well leather wrapped steering wheel teated multi-function i like the two color Paddle shifts are plastic, but for this price, I'll let it slide. And the gear shifter is now on the steering column, which gives more room to the center, which starts off with the 12.3 navigation with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM, AM, FM, streaming Bluetooth audio. And navigation starts on the limited tier with quiet cabin. Put it into reverse, and we have a 360 degree reverse camera, full trajectory for the front and the rear, and you can change the camera layouts for lining it up for tow on the sides, and you can expand it all the way out. Plus we have the 3D view, which you can go all around the vehicle to make it easy to see any imperfections. Dual climate control settings is standard. Two USB ports, a his and her wireless charging pad, which is only on the calligraphy, which is something that just puts this to another level compared to anybody in class and the key fob for the new Santa Fe. We have a touchpad here for the climate control, driving mode select, which goes into the 12.3 digital reader for the driver with three different driving modes select. The calligraphy and limited, you're gonna get the turn signals that will indicate on the gauge cluster. So it makes it a lot more easier because now you don't have to rely on blind spot on the exterior because you got the cameras right here on the interior. And you can change the configuration of this going through an array of information for the driver. The only fault that I see is to go and change the whole configuration. You have to go into the infotainment screen, click on to setup, and here's where you can change the gauge style. It's gonna be a little bit more firm, opens up this way. You got a storage bin that picks up. It's a deep storage pocket. It goes almost underneath the cup holders, LED interior lights, ambient lighting. This also opens up into the second row with a 12 volt charger, a full pass through. The door panel will integrate into the dash and you get the wood with the satin aluminum, soft to touch materials, one touch up and down for all the windows with a medium sized storage pocket. For the second row headroom, and leg room storage behind both of the front seats usb ports on the seats clothing hangers you got a storage bin that opens up here and this can open up from the back so it makes it easy access from front to back manual sunshades air vents on the side pillar wood coming into place heated seats start on the limited trim two cup holders more or less with another on the bottom and these are four-way power seat adjustment to go to the third row push the button and check this thing out it's going to electronically move forward making it a little bit easier access and you can push it just a touch to fit two more occupants in the third row now i have adjusted the second row back all the way so you can see four legs the leg space purposes and I would not be able to fit. With the rear fan speed, USB, home plug, large windows, 
LED interior lights, and it's gonna be the same on both sides. Leg space for normal sit is not going to be a problem. Same thing with feet space, they actually carve it out and put it more or less flat. As for headroom, plenty of room for third row occupants. 277 horsepower. and 311 pound-feet of torque, you have momentum underneath the hood of this. It's longer, but you can still get in and out of lanes. A Little bit wider. The fifth gen, I think they just polished it off well because you're getting a lot of amenities, especially for the price when you're considering anybody in its class. Talking about rivals like Honda and Toyota, they really need to step up their game because you're gonna be spending five to $10,000 more to get a similar example, and you're gonna have just as much capabilities, if not more, especially in the interior. Towing is gonna to be identical when you go front wheel drive for Honda. Obviously, when you go all wheel drive, you're gonna lose 500 pounds, but for me, I'm saving five, ten thousand dollars That's something that it's hard for me to swallow. I like that you can see the cameras in the gauge cluster. It's one of three vehicles that do it, Hyundai, Kia, and Genesis, and you're getting it a lot less than Genesis. Turn radius at a stop point, about two lanes. Let's rock and roll. The engine exhaust will filter in. The sound deadening is not as good as it should be for the calligraphy, but it is a lot better than the XRT. It's gonna take me to some pros and cons, starting off with the pros, is when you go calligraphy, you're getting power seat adjustment for the second row. This is under $50,000. Think about luxury cars like Lexus, Mercedes, BMW, Infiniti. I understand this may not compare to some of them, but I'm just saying, think of what you're getting as value. Plus this curved panel, two screen layout, heads up display, Bose sound system. You get a soft suede headliner. That's crazy. His and her wireless charging pad, nobody does this. Even hundred plus thousand dollar cars don't do this, but you can get it in a Hyundai. Going to some cons is when you get the front wheel drive, it's gonna be a little bit more tire happy. We have Pirellis on this thing. There's no need for that. I understand they're 21 inch wheels, but I'm thinking about the service afterwards. The eight speed dual wet clutch automatic transmission, that's for sports cars to get quicker shifts. We don't necessarily need that here either. The smart parking assist, it's a cool feature, but it's something that's not gonna be really utilized. It's just something to show off saying, look what I can do that no other car can do. But a pro is you get the UVC, which basically kills COVID in the top glove box. Yet again, what vehicles are doing these things in technology and value. You have to go Hyundai. 10 year, 100,000 mile warranty on that transmission that everybody's complaining about online. I don't see a problem with that. That takes me to the problem that I have is that a lot of the components is carryover like the suspension and the powertrain in which both of them have had some failures in models prior. And when you're thinking calligraphy, it adds over 400 pounds to the curb weight. But when you're thinking as a package, it's hard to say this is not the best variant compared to anybody in its class. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Check out the next video, merchandise, website, and Instagram. Leave a comment and a like. And I'd like to thank Gettle Hyundai of Lakewood for giving us this 2024 Hyundai Santa Fe Calligraphy for our review.